17 minutes past the hour. The president to speak momentarily. You'll see it live here. First, though, continuing coverage of rising tensions with North Korea. Chinese officials are now defending their trade practices with the dictatorship there after North Korea used Chinese made trucks to tow missiles in a military parade. As I reported here a short time ago, a spokesman for China's foreign ministry says the country conducts normal business with its neighbors in North Korea and abides by all UN sanctions. Sumi Terry is here. She's a former senior analyst on North Korean issues at the CIA, also served on the National Security Council under the administrations of two presidents, President George W. Bush and President Obama. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me on. How are we handling this? Well, right now, we're not handling it too well, but in fairness, no one handled it well. This problem goes back to the early 1990s on Clinton administration, the Bush administration, Obama administration, and now the Bush administration. So. Now the, ra the rhetoric has been ratcheted up yes. and the threats are out there. Yes. And what, what are we to make of that and how it might affect Kim, Kim Jong-un? Well, I, I'm, the problem with this kind of brinkmanship policy coming out of Washington, actually, is that we're, we're putting ourselves in a bind. Because either you have to back down and lose face and credibility with our allies and our enemies, or we have to now act, follow through. And what are we going to do? Are we going to really have a military strike against North Korea? It's a very dangerous uh, step to take. That would be a very dangerous step to take for us. But because of North Korea's capabilities as it relates to Japan and South Korea? Yeah, absolutely. Because of <clears> conventional <throat> artillery alone. There are more than 10,000 artillery pieces uh, that's zeroed in on Seoul right now. We have uh, 220 million uh, people living in Seoul. We have some 150,000 American expats living in Seoul. We have 28,500 American soldiers living in South Korea right now. And of course, Seoul can be devastated. North Korea does not have to use a nuclear weapon. Just conventional artillery alone is quite dangerous. W what is the better course of action in your estimation? Well, I am for putting, trying to put maximum pressure on North Korea and China. So I understand um, the sentiment behind this. Um, but I do think if China falls through and does not reign in North, North Korea, and I'm not holding my breath, then we do have to ratchet up sanctions, and we have to pursue secondary sanctions against Chinese banks and Chinese entities that continue to do illicit business with North Korea. China is not interested in helping that much because of its own interests regarding its border and otherwise, right? Right. right. I mean, China does not want nuclear North Korea, but their standing policy, long standing policy, always has been no war, no instability, and no nukes, and that in that order. So no, China has always supported North Korea uh, historically just because it does not want to see regime collapse or regime instability. Mm. Sumi Terry, I'm sorry the time is cut short.